research that I've done with the IPA, with my colleague Peter Field, shows that um, marketing works in two very different ways over the short and the long term. Short term activation is all about immediate responses, hard selling, performance marketing. That's the kind of thing that digital media excel at. Um, but long term brand building is the main driver of long term growth and profit. And to evaluate those two different approaches to marketing, you need different approaches to measurement and evaluation. If you're in the realm of immediate activation, you should be looking at things like direct responses, clicks, uh, immediate sales, web traffic and so forth. These are measurements and metrics that um, marketers are increasingly comfortable with. They're easy to understand and, and they're cheap. But if you want to measure those really important long-term brand building effects, then you need long-term data. You need to track trends over much longer periods, years, not weeks. And you need to look at things like attitudes, memories, awareness, feelings. And crucially, you need to look at long-term sales and profit. And that requires techniques like econometric modeling. So I would say uh, if there's one little sound bite you would take out of this is don't get too seduced by big data. Remember that you really need long data. Marketers love trends. They love to uh, pick up on the latest trends. And I work in a creative agency and we love trends better than anyone else. We love to focus on the shiny new stuff. Um, so if there's one recommendation I would have, it would be to ignore the trends, ignore the fads, ignore the fashions. Focus on what is unchanging. Um, Bill Birnbach actually uh, said something about what he was interested in is unchanging man. What are the human concerns and human um, interests and human nature, the stuff that doesn't change, Human nature hasn't changed in 40 million years. Um, so don't get too seduced by the latest shiny things. There are some particular trends which I would um, be particularly wary of. So over the next year or so, you're going to hear all sorts of nonsense talked about AI. Um, um, not many people know this, but I worked in AI. In, uh, that's, that's what I did my master's thesis in. Um, and I've seen AI hyped before. Um, uh, marketers who get too seduced by AI will produce a lot of cheap uh, but ineffective marketing. That's my prediction.